Hey there, this is Shana from Hello Teacher Lady. This video will cover how to save individual pages from a PDF. For example, I have this 29 page PDF from my friend Jenna at Dot Cop Teaching, and I want to split it into smaller sections so I can assign students a few pages at a time. So what I'm going to do is click File Print or Control P to bring up the print dialog screen. Yours might look slightly different depending on the PDF reader that you have, but the general concept is the same. You'll click the printer dropdown and select print to PDF or Adobe PDF. And if you're opening the PDF in a browser like Google Chrome, yours might say something different like save as PDF. You can also select save to Google Drive, which is really helpful if you store most of your files in Drive. Next, you'll type the page numbers you want to save here. So let's say I only want to give my students a copy of page two. I can just type in two and then you can preview the page down here to make sure that you selected the right one. You can also save a group of pages. So I could type in 12-16 and that would give me all of the pages from page 12 to page 16. And if you want to save individual pages that aren't grouped together, you'll put a comma between each of the page numbers. So maybe I want page 19, comma, then page 22, comma, then page 25. So just to keep things simple, I'm going to come back up here and just type in page two. And to save this as its own file, all I have to do is click print. Don't worry though, it won't actually print anything if you have the PDF options selected as your printer. If you're working in the Chrome browser preview, the process is pretty much the same. You'll just select custom, type the page number, and then save. So now I have my new file with only the page that I want, and I can send this out to students in Google Classroom all by itself. So that's how to split a PDF into individual pages. Before we go, here's one more cool trick that you can do from the print dialog screen. So let's say you want to combine multiple pages onto a single printable page. In Adobe, if you just select multiple and then pages per sheet, you can combine pages like this. So this is a really helpful trick. You can see that I have four pages from Jenna's workbook here, but it'll print or save onto a single page. Thanks so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and tricks.